So gasoline consumption in the U.S. has been increasing steadily, and the data from 1992 to 2004 is shown here. And we can certainly see that these values are increasing, but it's kind of hard to tell whether or not they're increasing linearly or some other way. So the first thing we might do is create a graph uh, by putting the, the year, which is our input quantity along the horizontal, and the consumption, uh, along the vertical, and see what that looks like. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, and, and we can see that the data does indeed appear to have a fairly linear trend. Remember, linear growth means it's gonna grow like a line. It means that each year, it increases by about the same amount, no matter where we are in the trend. So it looks like this is fairly linear, and so we're gonna go ahead and use uh, there are more advanced statistical techniques to approximate a line to data, but we're just gonna approximate it here by picking two values and finding the line connecting those two values. And I think I'm gonna use this one and this one, which corresponds to 1993 and 2003. So let's go ahead and clear my graph here, and so we're using this value and this value. And again, I don't really wanna work with the years as is, so I'm gonna go ahead and define n to be years after, uh, 1993, and that way this will be an n value of 0, and this will be an n value of 10, 10 years after. So P0 is 111 billion gallons, and P10, the amount, uh, the consumption after 10 years is 133. Now I need to find, in order to come up with an explicit equation, I'm gonna need to find d, my common difference. Now remember, that's the amount that it increases by, on average, each year. So to figure that out, I can look at the total increase over these 10 years. So the total increase in consumption was 133 minus 111 is 22, and then again, that's billions of gallons, uh, 22 billion gallons, uh, over those 10 years. Now remember, that's over the 10 years, and so to find the average increase, uh, per year, we're gonna need to take that 22 billion gallons and divide it by the number of years that have passed. So we're gonna divide it by 10 and get 2.2 billion gallons per year as our average increase per year, and this is gonna be our value for d, uh, for our common difference in our, uh, linear growth equation. Uh, in, in traditional algebra, this would be what we'd call the slope, or the m and the y equals mx plus b equation. So we're gonna go ahead and write our explicit equ equation now. Remember, it takes the form pn equals p0 plus d times n. Uh, in this case, we know our p0 is 111, so we'll go ahead and put in 111 for our initial amount, and our d, we just calculated, was 2.2, so we'll go ahead and put 2.2 in for our d, and there is our explicit equation. And we could use this equation to then make predictions or to solve problems. So for example, what would we predict the consumption to be in 2000, um, let's say 2016. So first thing we need to know is how many years after 2003, uh, sorry, after 1993 is this? Well, let's see here, 1993, 2003 is 10 years later, 2013 would be 20 years later, and then this is three more after that, so this is 23 uh, years after after 1993, uh, and so that we can go ahead and calculate P23 is 111 plus 2.2 times 23, uh, and we can calculate that out to be 161.6 billion gallons. And so our model predicts that the consumption will be 161.6 billion gallons uh, in 2016 if this trend continues.